welcome back everyone. Today we're having a look at all the standard combos. Yes, all of them, and I'm gonna rank them all. Let's have a look at this first combo right here. Just Cause Portal, Naru Meha, Master Wizard, Naban, Dino Iteration, and Gitu Journey Mage. So, how are we gonna combo this? Well, with Naban we can get double triggers from Naru, which copies any instants and sorceries. We can double copy Just Cause Portal this way. And we can target Naru Meha and Gitu Journey Mage any number of time because Naru keeps coming back and coming back and copying and copying and that way we have infinite damage because when Gitu Journey Mage enters the battlefield if you control another wizard Gitu Journey Mage deals 2 damage to each opponent yeah pretty easy combo so what would I rate this though from the scale, uh, scale between Vivian and Lyon I would give this something like a you know a Jace Cunning Castaway it's uh, more willing than able really next combo Diligent Excavator, Liliana Untouched by Death, Chamber Sentry, Arcane Adaptation. Mm, do you spot the combo? Do you? Well, here's how the combo goes. You're gonna play out Arcane Adaptation, Naming Zombie. Then you're gonna play out Liliana Untouched by Death. When you have that out, you can immediately cast your ultimate. Uh, you may cast zombie cards from your graveyard and... Because Chamber Sentry is now a zombie, you can play it any number of times from your graveyard, uh, but it doesn't do anything. So we need the Diligent Excavator to complete the combo. Whenever you cast a Historic Spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So we can, since we can do this infinite number of times, we can just mill our opponent. Nice. So, what would I rate this? I would rate this about a Raska. Decent. Next combo. Wall of Lost Thoughts and three Lumbering Battlements. Well, it's quite evident how this works. It doesn't mean too much brain power. It's just how you how you're gonna, you know, put this puzzle together. We need three Lumbering Battlements. We're gonna play out Wall of Lost Thoughts, targeting it with the first Lumbering Battlement. The second Lumbering Battlement is gonna target the first Lumbering Battlement, which brings back the Wall of Lost Thought, which you can target with the third Lumbering Battlement along with the second lumbering battlement that way you can just reoccur this and another infinite mill combo you only need two pieces so i give this a jaya ballard not the not the young jaya you know the old the old jaya next combo drown secrets least to the wind naru meha master wizard it's another naru combo okay so we're gonna play out drown secrets we're gonna let's see we're gonna play release to the wind targeting something doesn't matter what uh, then we're gonna play Narumeha, targeting release to the wind. So you need seven mana for this. That's uh, that's a lot. <laughs> but if you have seven mana, uh, you can copy release to the wind, targeting Narumeha, and uh, just keep casting Narumeha an infinite number of times, which also mills your opponent. All these cards are blue, which I like. They are okay cards maybe to have in a mill deck. So I'm gonna give this a Chandra, not the you know not the good Chandra, the shitty Chandra. <laughs> Next combo Biomancer's Familiar, Slimefoot Stowaway, Pitiless Plunderer times 2 or Biomancer's Familiar times 2, doesn't matter which one, and Ruthless Knave. So, Slimefoot deals damage whenever a uh, sapling dies, and you can create a 1 1 for 4 mana, but you can make it cheaper with Biomancer's Familiar, or you can gain more mana back from Pitiless Plunder because whenever something dies, it creates a treasure. Uh, and you can sacrifice all this to Ruthless name, Nave, uh, which ability becomes uh, one black after you have Biomancer's Familiar out. Sacrifice a creature, create two colorless uh, treasure artifact tokens. So that way you can just cre keep creating saplings, uh, killing them off and dealing damage. Infinite number of damage. Unfortunately, you need <laughs> five cards in play. All of which you don't want to have in your deck. So, uh, unfortunately, this is just a Domri. I'm doesn't get better. Uh, Famished Paladin, Onsire's Wings, and Sorcerer's Wand. Yeah, this is a combo you might have seen. You can get this out on turn 4. If you play everything in order and equip on turn 3. Famished Paladin untaps only when you gain life. And you can gain life by putting Onsire's Wings on this. And pinging people with Sorcerer's Wand. You can, of course, ping any number of times. Because Famished Paladin keeps untapping and untapping and untapping. Yeah, pretty decent. I would give this, you know, a Sarkhan without a shirt. Easily. Next combo. Forerunner of the Empire, Polyraptor. This is a, you know, a little combo just in itself. 
this will create enough Polaraptors probably to win the game uh, by itself. But you can go infinite here by putting a sore ashore on forerunner of the Empire, which and then play out a Polaraptor, which dies, which create another Polaraptor, create another Polaraptor, create another Polaraptor, create another Polaraptor, until MTGA crashes. And I would give this about the Kaya. About the Kaya. We've see, I've seen this combo a couple of times, but I think it's just better to play it without the Ashore. You don't need... Like, if you have enough Polaraptors, that's, that's good enough. <laughs> Uh, when you eventually get settled the wreckage, you don't want your opponent to search for an infinite number of lands, do you? <laughs> Anywho, next combo. Arcane Adaptation Liliana, we've seen that before, so we're gonna turn everything into a zombie ultimate, and then we're gonna play Skirk Prospector any number of times from our graveyard because we can gain the mana back, and then ping our opponent with Judith. So this is pretty good, I think. We have infinite ping, and the cards are reasonable. Uh, they're all low costing, and cards that we might even want to have in our deck and we can even play stuff up from we can play the entire combo up from our graveyard so that's pretty good uh, so this gives Liliana it's a Liliana that, that's the best combo so far that I've found actually something I'm looking forward to trying out but can we screw this up can we screw this up? Can we make a deck which only consists of combos? Of course we can, and I've prepared it. It's here. Look at this. Look at this beautiful creation. So, we've seen this combo before, right? We've seen Liliana into Diligent, Excavator, Chamber, Sentry, and Arcane Adaptation. But we can also here name uh, Goblin and turn our Rona into a Goblin, sacrifice it, um, and it's gonna... Every time it comes into play, it's gonna pick up our Chamber Sentry, and we're gonna play the Chamber Sentry, and whenever we play the Chamber Sentry, it's gonna trigger Teshar, which is gonna bring back the Rona, which is gonna sacrifice the Skirk Prospector, which gives us infinite mana or infinite life, if we have Diamond Mare out, which makes us able to cast Mastermind's Acquisition for something to kill our opponent with. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think? Do you have uh, any other combos? Share them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.